Oh, hello everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome back to Do Not Kill Me Jacob Extra. We're going to left off of now doing date ends. We're going to see how long it is, what's in store for us, and I, I, we're going to see if we can get to marry the goat named Jacob, I guess. Or see well, what more happens with our um, introduced friends that we don't know too much about. Oh. So, yeah, let's get into date night. What happens? And why do you still have the knife with you? And due to unique circumstances, you find yourself on a date with Jacob. Ah, here we made it. What, you have a problem with the park date? I myself enjoy a quiet stroll through the woods. Helps cool the mind after a soul-crushing day of work. So does killing people, but that's a different story. Uh, oh god, it's bet yeah, mood neutral in here too. Um, anyways, let's get this date started, shall we? What is your name? Uh, so we can also piss him off or and mess up mess up the date or I guess go back to making him horny. Uh, so we're gonna go back to doing what we did in the last video, pissing him off. Um, just dot dot dot. What tongue tied already? Uh, you know what? We'll just should have checked my ID. <laughs> don't be a smart ass. You're lucky I'm even asking. I'm sure you can guess, but I don't tend to get buddy buddy with my captives. Not enough to care about their names, anyways. Dot dot dot. Don't be like that. Come on, you're just going to piss me off if you keep playing around. Joss. Thank you. Joss, how do you make a living? I don't expect you to be full-time thief, considering how much you messed up this heist. N messed up this heist. No offense. Kind of. But you must have a way to pay for food, right? You got any way to support yourself? <laughs> I, I, I steal. As a living? Did you even try getting a job? Or was that just the first thing that came to mind? What about music or gardening or something? Stealing isn't as glamorous as you think. Living like a criminal isn't fun. I don't know where you got that idea from, but take it from me. I remember my first murder. You know what? Never mind. Let's move on. I work in information technology, if you couldn't tell. I couldn't. Uh, Mondays, am I right? You mean I do? Yeah, but doesn't it sound a lot cooler when I don't abbreviate it? I think it's funny. I used to believe that with office folks, you didn't have to look out for them. The small fries are too boring to do crime, or so I thought. Have you... Have you seen American Psycho? <laughs> the rich are always looking to take from the poor. It made me realize that making friends at the office isn't the best idea. Those things aren't looking out... That those things aren't looking for out for anyone but themselves. Oh well, maybe I just don't get out too often with work and hobbies. I really can't spare the time for dates. Or friends, actually. I can't remember the last time I had a meaningful interaction. <laughs> Yo, Impropt ca Collab Stream. Talking to chat, by the way. <sighs> What's up, chat? You'll never guess who we met. just met. That's right, Jacob, with his next victim, too. Stay tuned, we're gonna find it. D gonna see if Jacob twists his knife when he stabs, or if he's just a straight shooter. So, Jacob, who exactly is our lucky ducky? How, who just streams literal person murdering to streams? Is it just... Is this person also a killer, just they do it in stream? What? Anyways, when are you, when are you going to kill them more impromptly? Or more importantly, when is it my turn? Just kidding, haha, <laughs> of course you wouldn't kill me. Yeah, anyways. This is my, uh, date, if you couldn't tell. Oh. That's... so... Poggers! Yeah. I couldn't tell, actually. I mean, why would you have a knife on a date, right? <laughs> Come on, tell me, Jacob. This is just some sick mind trick, right? You're gonna kill it, right? What the fuck is wrong with you? Haha, <laughs> of course you are. Let's go, guys. Talking to chat. Okay, so for the new ones, we just caught Jacob in the middle of some good old psychological torture. What do you think, chat? Should we leave him to it? Why are you streaming in the woods? Oh, wow. Haha. <laughs> Didn't know he let you talk. Ha! <laughs> Isn't that so cute? If the person's name is James, not Hank, I confused one for the other. This James character is fucking annoying, though. I, 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 want, I want an ending where Jacob kills James, but yeah. Uh, don't you love when they're so confused? You're going to make such a lovely lampshade. Well, if you must know, I just hit a milestone. Have you ever hit a milestone before? Can this James person shut the fuck up already? Like, unless the whole point is he's trying to annoy Jacob to snap, but I, I, I genuinely want him. I want James to die. But yeah, um, 
I'm going to corpse hunting as a celebration. Have you ever hunted a corpse? I don't think... Yeah, I doubt it. Wait, corpse hunting? For what corpses? Nervous chuckle. There's no corpses here. Nervous chuckle. Oh, wink wink, right Jacob? Wouldn't want any of your axes to show up right. Speaking of axes, how did you even meet this simp? You're just using buzzwords, you stupid fuck. The justice system. Well, chat, seems like our Jacob is busy. Sorry, we'll just have to come around later to see the good shit. So that means stick around and remember I have all your addresses, so if anyone leaves... Well, anyways, have fun, you two. It was so nice meeting you. I just... I don't give a shit about James. For future reference, I'd recommend avoiding him, like staying a street away from him at all times. Kit has major issues. Um, yeah, what is this problem? It's not all bad, I guess. He looks up to me, at least. You, you want an annoying bitch to be a fucking... Look up to you! Sounds like an insult. So we know he isn't terrible at picking role models. It just makes me think we're lucky for being one of the normal ones. Maybe that's just what being antisocial does to a person. Maybe that's why it's important to keep people around. Though, suppose some people are just naturally unhinged. Everyone at every corner is just waiting to stab you in the back. I guess it's not really too far off from reality. Uh, how do you go about choosing which people should I should be closest to you? <laughs> how many friends do you have? Sheesh, sorry, a touchy subject, huh? Didn't mean to stab you where it hurts. Heh, <laughs> join the club. Just don't be defensive about it. Wait, what? Is it supposed to be Jacob saying that, or my character, though? To join the club, just... I guess it's maybe all Jacob. Um, but yeah, join the club, but just don't be so defensive about it. That's where it turns from cool to pathetic. And then it turns from pathetic to James. <laughs> just don't tell him I said that. He scares even me sometimes. Just stab him. That's fine. I could probably take him in a fight, though. Do it. Probably. Why are you lacking confidence? I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I've never actually been this far with a person before. I mean, with a captive, I mean. I mean, I'm... So far, you're annoyed. So I mean... I've been on a few dates, not to toot my own horn, but I'm kind of a catch. <laughs> Lucky you, am I right? Well, you mention it to say that I've run out of questions, which is a first. Usually have them stocked up. Oh, I guess you just have that effect on me. Anyways, excuse me while I look at my phone for a bit. Ten perfect questions to ask on the first date to really get to know someone. Says that I sh should ask you what makes you unique? That's a stupid question. Well, what makes you unique? I'm good at stealing. <laughs> Oh. Oh, you think that's funny, huh? Yeah, yeah, you were good at it until you stole from me. Maybe I should be grateful you suck at your hobby. You sure as hell seem happy about it. Don't make me regret taking you out. Or I'll really show you how I take people out. Uh, stealing isn't a personality trait. Fuck. It's barely even a hobby, not even a unique one at that. You wanna know what I think? I think there's more to you than that. There has to be more to you than that, and I'm saying that for your own sake. I see a little bit of myself in you. You're a diamond in the rough, right? I understand. You just need to be pressurized, sanded, and cut before you can show this world your value. It's worth it, in my experience anyways. The way I see it, you can go far when you commit yourself to something worthy. Heh. Or, hell, I know I did. You know what, though? Fuck this website. This is for losers. We're better than that. In fact, I should kill the person who wrote this for giving out such abysmal advice. Joking, I wouldn't waste time on this schmuck. Hold on a bit, though. Just let me write that write down their name. I can think of a better questions on the spot, like... Like... No. Oh, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? What? Okay, cut me some slack. It wasn't that bad of a question. That you could do better, I'd like to see you try. See, that's what I thought. Maybe it's time you start asking me some questions, though. It is a date, after all, and things like this should uh, be reciprocal. Don't be shy, I usually don't bite. No wrong questions, really. Why do you... <laughs> what? Is this another fucking tree? Jesus Christ, how many trees does a park even need to have? Are we just gonna go around in circles, bro? If Joss really is in trouble, then he better pay me back big time for saving their ass. Hank, I thought you said you knew this place like the back of your hand. Yeah, there's Hank. I did, but then I, I got a manicure, manicure, and my hand is basically like new now. It got so much prettier. You should get one too, July. I really think it could help. 
Anyway, yeah, so I kind of got distracted and then more trees popped up in this park, way more than I remember. Really, it's Mother Nature's fault. This is why my dad supports global warming? Stupid trees, your time is coming? Hank, you should never blame a MILF for anything, so it's not Mother Nature's fault. Now focus, we need to look for Joss, and we can't do that if we're just wandering around the park in circles. Have you tried, like, sticking left? I mean, like, duh, everyone knows that when you're lost, you stick left. That's for mazes, not... Wait, wait, who's that? Does he have a knife? Hm? Oh my god, Mr. Jacobson! Or Mr. <laughs> Mr. Jacob, I always forgot, forget. Did you get married yet? Is it Mrs. Jacob now? Hank. 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 Hank, oh, that's me. Wait, was it? Was that Joss? Look, I brought my friend July. No, don't say my name, you dumbass. Uh, whatever, the cover's blown anyway. Jesus, Hank, I thought I already taught you about aliases. Aliases sounds like Ariana. Uh, and my heart is only big enough for one Ariana. It's, it's grand size. Or grande size, like Starbucks drink. Or, sorry, Star Ducks. Hank, Joss, get over here. What have I told you about strange men in parks? What, I'm not strange. Yeah, but you're a man, right? Even worse. Now back away from Joss. Hey, you've got it all wrong. Me and your dear Joss are simply on a date. Not that it concerns you. Yeah, not so fast. Like, I believe that. A date, really. I'm sure they appreciate the gesture, but I'm also sure she's just as anxious to resume our little rendezvous. Now, if you'll excuse us. He can speak for himself. Joss, where do you even meet, meet this goober? It's a long story. We have time. We met through a basement. Hank, close your eyes. No, no, what he means is a bar. Uh, called the basement. Come on, work with me here. I really don't feel like having to kill three people, and I actually like Hank. Oh, I love that place. The guy, the guys they hire there are so hot. And the DJ is so nice. He let me play Seven Rings for seven, two hours once after I got him, like, super drunk. Yeah, that bar. Hank, don't get to go to places like that. But the guys call me pretty whenever I give them money. Oh, they do, do they? Seems like I have more people to visit. Just don't go near that place. Only creeps hang out there. Uh, except me. I only go there to, uh... The food is good. Love the bowl full of nuts they put on the bar. Yeah, I love the nuts there, too. Hank, stop being gay for one second. Hank. Hank, I'll deal with you later. You. Jacob, was it? You are a strange, strange little man. Joss, are you sure you feel safe around this guy? What's your play here, dude? Good question. I'd also like to know that. Uh, do you feel safe? No. I, I want to get him enraged just so I can get that over with. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, there goes my chair. <laughs> I knew it. And there's no way Joss would be with some ugly old creep. Yeah. Wait, I thought that was exactly Josh's type. Only if they're rich. I am rich. Hey, wait a minute. I'm not old. Yeah, and you aren't beaten to a pulp either. Not yet, anyways. Hey, calm yourself. We're all friends here, right? It's not like I'm a murderer. We can talk rationally. Why are you just holding up a knife and stuff? You're just saying you're not a murderer, and I'm tied to a chair, probably. No, oh, I'm going I'm going to kick your ass back to the Stone Age. You better p pray you can kill me with that knife in one go. Uh-oh. Eh, fuck. Hmm? Jacob shoulders... Wait, Jacob shoulders July... Wait, Jacob. Jacob shoulders July before running off with you. Ag. Were you trying to get me caught, you little shit? Don't, don't answer that. Just don't say anything right now. That wasn't funny. You're lucky I didn't punt your little friend. And the only reason I didn't was because Hank was there. You better thank God Hank was there. And what if they find you? Ha. That's cute. You're cute. I'm rich. I'll be more than fine. You didn't achieve anything with that stunt. You, on the other hand, hey, meet at the, meet me at the bridge. Alone. I have something to tell you. Okay. I just wanted to let you know that. I thought you knew stealing was bad. What the hell happened? It's like you did a complete 180. But just because you were out of the basement, you thought you were out of the woods? Shit. I wanted to believe you changed, but you're just like the rest. At least I know that now people don't change. Noted. Thank you for that, I guess. I really did try, you know. I gave you and so many chances, too many chances, and you're the first to ever get this far. It's like you strung me along. God, I feel so stupid. Ugh, Christ, I need a nap. You disgust me, a criminal, a liar. Fuck you. I can't wait to go home, reevaluate my judgment, maybe, and eat a nice dinner. Yeah. Oh, after I dump your corpse into the river, of course. <laughs> and... 
Well, I knew it was going to end that way, but that's a lot of reading to get to one ending. Due to unique circumstances, you find yourself on a date with Jacob. Zoom. I, I gotta, like, piss him off, but not piss him off so much. Like, there has to be, but there's, like, there's neutral, there's pissed. There's, an, there's neutral, annoyed, pissed, and enraged. There's pleased. Wait, was it what's that one? Pleased. Amused, intrigued, and horny. There's a lot of different directions you can go with the alignment, but there's only four endings. So, maybe when I'll, what I'll try to do is neutral, but I mean, there's so much reading. So it's a good thing I made this a second video, I guess. Uh, let's just try to stick neutral with this one. <sighs> what, tongue-tied already? Didn't know I was so charming. You're going to have to work with me here. Are you mad? I know it's basic etiquette. Considering the circumstances, you're going to have to cut me some slack. How do you make a living? And thief... Um... I work at McDonald's. McDonald's? <laughs> what? We're tolerating it. What? I'm gonna talk like a zoomer or something. I... I have to say that or else they'll fire me. Will they even know? <laughs> Alright, that got it. That, that's pretty good. It's like... It's like I'm held at gunpoint from my employer. That's funny. Will, will they even know? They're watching me 24... They'll know. Was I going to make a snarky... I was going to make a snarky comment, but... Now I just feel bad. I know we didn't know each other before this, but whatever, I guess I understand why you stole from me now. That's not a part, by the way, I'm still pissed about that. I work in information... Oh no. There we go. Ah, uh, he already mentioned. Ah, uh, and we're skipping this guy. Oh, thank god. Um... Okay, so, how do you go about choosing which people should be closest to you? I think these questions are all the same, though. Hmm. I have two. He's pleased. I don't like people. He's pleased. I want to stay neutral, so whatever. What makes you unique? My fashion sense? You don't sound so sure about that, and your fashion sense doesn't seem particularly unique. Then nothing. Come on, there must be something. This website is fucking stupid anyways. I only bookmarked it for uh, to make fun of it, by the way. I don't actually use it for inspiration or anything. Haha. <laughs> That'd be stupid. You know what, though? Fuck this website. This is for losers. We're better than that. In fact, I should kill the person who wrote this for giving out such abysmal advice. And, yes. Hmm... If they say flight, it's neutral. Good. That's... Ah, uh, really cute, act. Wait, what? Cute! Flight is cute! Invisibility. A stupider part of me wants to give you a benefit of the doubt, but I just can't say shake the feeling you're only going to use a power like that for crimes. Otherwise, what do you have to be so sneaky about, huh? Come on, I thought we were over this phase of stealing. Do I need to kidnap you again, or do you prefer worse? Hmm... Okay, so then it goes back to this. Hang. Hmm. We met through Hank. 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 Hank, how many old rich men do you know? Do you just keep them in your back pocket or something? The hell. No, the only rich man I love is my dad. Uh, but don't you remember introducing us, Hank? Remember? It was for the. Uh. The drums. Right! The drums, and, you know. One thing led to another. Ah, oh, and now you guys are getting married. No. I mean, not yet. It's it's too early for that. Josh and Jacob sitting in a tree. Shut up. Okay, okay. I guess that checks out. I remember that too. Josh? Uh, Josh, I thought you were going to steal it or something. Did you just knock on the front door and ask? <laughs> yes. And here I thought I taught you better than that. <laughs> this is like how, like, Jacob's face, he's just, like, sort of unraveling, wait, what are these people saying? W wait, what? Well, nice to see it worked out. You taught her that! You aren't getting me to say anything unless a lawyer is present, I know my rights. Joss, are you sure you feel safer on this guy? What's your play here, dude? Good question, I'd also like to know that. Dot, dot, dot. 
Joss, Joss, say nothing if you're <laughs> Joss, say nothing if you're scared. See, Hank, get him. Huh? Why? He seems pretty normal to me. That's about usually what he she always says, anyways. I uh, yeah, I guess. That knife. Explain that knife then. Well, I'm sure you didn't come empty-handed either, am I right? You never know what kind of trouble you'll find in the dark. Or what kind of trouble finds you. Fuck, fine, okay, I guess you would have said something if you were in trouble. Right, Joss? Yeah, maybe they're actually head over heels in love. She's speechless. Joy, it's true, love. Don't you see? Uh, yeah. We'll have to continue our date if we don't want to see if we'll get that far. Now, if you'll excuse us. Ugh. Hank, tell me everything you know about that guy you're sleeping over at my place tonight. Yippee! Wait, but your TV is smaller than mine. Can we... Fine, fine, we're going to your place. Hey, meet me at the bridge. I don't know. Is it just going to be the same ending? I just wanted to let you know that. This was a disaster. I probably shouldn't pick people up in my basement. You aren't too bad, though. I'll see you around. Hopefully not. Anyways, bye. Oh. So I was able to escape? By annoying him. I guess neutral and annoyed probably would do that. Alright, but let's try to then... Sw like, we're going to please him and then horny him. That, that'll be how we do it in uh, succession. Wait. Ah, wait, I hit the wrong thing. Whoops. Date night. Uh, Joss. Joss, Jacob, nice pair of names, I think. Not to be too forward, of course. You have a cool name. Don't think I've heard anything like that before. Uh, good job on that. Joss, how do you make a living? I don't expect you to be full-time thief. Looks like this a lot of- if it's the same conversations, I'm skipping ahead, by the way. Okay, so I picked flight. That's actually cute. For some reason, it makes me happy hearing you say that. Just promise me you won't fly too close to the sun. And don't hang too low, either. People usually forget about that part of the story. The Icarus story? Or flying into power lines? Um... If you soar too low, your wings will grow brittle and break. Just keep your chin up, stay out of trouble, and you'll be fine. Okay, so let's see. We met through... an app! Grinder. Grinder. Yes, Grinder. Oh my god, good for you. Love is love. I'm glad you're getting back out there. Even old people deserve love. I'm not that old. Uh, let me see your account. I want to see how old you are. He got suspended. Oh, same. Yeah, apparently you can't set people up with each other. They said I couldn't give people's addresses out to other people. Yeah, it's called doxing. But it's not my fault I'm so compassionate. I just felt so bad for the ugly guys. They deserve love too. I think... And you guys decided to meet at a park. Night. Or at night. Naturally. Yes. Oh. Oh, nice. And I assume the knife is for... Damn, Joss, didn't think you were into that. Well, good for you. You bagged a dilf. Don't let us get in your way. But, Joss, are you sure you feel safe around this guy? What's your play right here, dude? Good question. I'd also like to know that. Let's do the dot dot. Okay, now we're going to the bridge while he's pleased. I just wanted to let you know that. This is a disaster? Please wasn't good enough either? Huh? Well, we got different conversations read out, but please wasn't even good enough. And this was just because of the situation of playing dot dot dot. So I'll go pleased, but also not answer with dot dots to try to like screw him at the end. Okay, do you feel safe around me? If I hit yes, it's amused. No, it's neutral. I, I would not think new. I'm gonna do neutral. You know what? I'll see if neutral gives anything unique, because I want to know if the like the last ending is only positive, which is obvious, but I want to know if neutral does anything. Oh shit, wait, what? No, so he tries to kill them, runs off. And he says the same thing as before, that he's rich and the meat on the bridge. Yeah, we'll see if it's, he says it's a disaster too. It's a disaster! It's a disaster at neutral, too. Okay, we're gonna have to go with blue pleased and then horny. Let's do that, then. So we'll do anything and everything right. I'm an accountant. Oh, office guy, huh? Wouldn't have pegged you as one. I'd love to see someone like you in the office, though. Right, I'll bet you'd be the prettiest one there. Absolutely adorable in your little suit and tie. The office sucks, though, doesn't it? 
Then the same. And this annoying bastard. Let's see. Uh, I have two. Two. Two friends. Oh, great. Glad you're spoken for. I, uh, never really did have, uh, didn't really have many friends growing up. If you couldn't tell, that is. Well, that must be nice. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I've never actually been this far with a person before. I mean, with a captive, I mean. I've been on a few dates, but not to toot my own horn. Uh, I'm in a band? A band. Actually, not my band. A band I'm in. No, no, I, I get how it is. Music can be personal. Sometimes a band can really feel like you own it. I don't blame you for being possessive. Everyone is to a degree or to an extent. I play a few instruments. You already know about the drums, but I also dabble with the violin, among others. Maybe we can start a band together. I think would be a good, uh, we'd have a good gimmick. Jazz with violins and drums. You know what, though? Fuck this website. Uh, if I go... No, he's, I don't want intrigued. I just want amused. I'll stick with amused. I just want to let you know that we should head, we should head back to my place. Okay, so he's pleased just enough. But not horny. <laughs> Eventful night, huh? Well, come along now. Can't have you roaming about. Wild streamers are go around. Just like Hank said, right? Wouldn't want to get stabbed. So, first good ending. We're gonna have to go for the most positive horny ending. Something probably will happen, but no nothing, nothing adult. I don't think so. Nothing, nothing adult rated. You know, I've been thinking actually. I've told you you're a good person before, right? I hope. You're a great person, actually. It's like... It's like I finally feel like a person. Instead of an outlier from society. It's this weird feeling in my brain, like I feel like I have to pick the exact answer from a list of responses so I can get... Uh, so I can win your affection. I love you. I... I think, anyways. I've never felt this connected before. Never. Haha. <laughs> I think I might even forgive you for the whole stealing thing. Water under the bridge, am I right? Come on inside. So, listen, I'm not sugarcoating it anymore. I'm certain I love you. <laughs> we have something special. It's not too soon. It's different. We're just different. It's like, it's, it's perfect. You're perfect. You're perfect. Okay, you're getting a little crazy there. You're perfect for me. You are what I'm missing. You feel the same way, don't you? Right? Right? Jacob, I could, I believe I could settle down with someone like you. If I ever felt so inclined to give up my pursuit of true justice. I would never do that, though. Not yet. My work isn't finished yet. But... But I think we could do great things together. You and me against the world, you know? Together we can... We can fix this shit-ho. No, <laughs> shit-ho. This shit-show. Why? Why what? Don't you think working together is more efficient? You do feel the same way, right? I... I think? But I need to know why. Why do you kill people? Why did I almost die? Why? What did I do wrong? Personal questions already, huh? Warms my heart to see our relationship growing so fast. Look, I'm sorry about that. I really am. I didn't think... I just thought... I was wrong about you. I'm truly, truly sorry about that. But... But just believe me. I will never, never pull a knife on you again. I would have never done that had I known what kind of person you are. You can feel safer on me, really, I promise. Please? I am... Um, as, as for why I do this, fuck people, basically. Fuck everyone. Joss, you're a special one. This is fate. I don't always kidnap people, and the few times I do, I make sure they regret being in my house. Anyone I have ever killed was deserve has deserved it. I do my research, I take my time, I'm not insane, and I... T that's what insane people say. And I don't like killing, but I have to. Someone has to. I... Look, the point is, I like you a lot. I gave you a chance, and you've done more than proven yourself. This worked out. This worked out, really. Really. Well, I'm glad you're here. Wouldn't have it any other way. I would very much enjoy a second date with you, if I could be so honored. Let me just put the knife back. You're already untied, right? You can go if you want. You already know where my place is. So if you want to come by tomorrow, or... You can even stay over at my place. If... if you want to. to only, of course, haha. <laughs> you can sleep on the couch, or... something. I, I won't even tie you up in the basement this time, haha. <laughs> so, how about it? You up for a second date? 
You're literally insane. Wait. <laughs> and. Hey! I mean, that. I'm not sure if that was a bug that it just cut in like that. I just said, you're literally insane, and he just snaps and kills me immediately. Which very much proves he is insane. Regardless of how many times he says he isn't. <laughs> Alright, well now we're going to go with the most positive, most horny we can get, Jacob. <laughs> so you don't have to say that line anymore. So, Joss. Uh, accountant. Skip this annoying guy. Uh, I have two. I'm in a band. Uh, flight. Now he's intrigued. Let's see. It's a long story. An app. And then we pick the obvious of... Do you feel safe? Yes. Quenched! Quenched! He is quenched. Maybe he will give up killing then. But we'll have to swoon him even more. Mm, nothing wrong here. I'm a completely reliable guy that would never murder anyone. Not even a little. I wouldn't even evade taxes, and I'm rich. Well, I guess his morals are all right. Yeah, can you believe it? Everyone evades taxes. My dad evades taxes. I'd still like to hear your explanation about the knife, though. I'm very cautious. It is the park in the middle of the night, after all. Who knows what lurks in these bushes, like ferrets or bears. Yeah, or even streamers! Hank, that's so dumb. No, there are streamers. You gotta be careful. Hank, that's so dumb, even for me. No, there are streamers in the forest. Just, it's just not the Japanese suicidal forest, and it's not Jake Paul. Or Logan Paul, I can't remember which one was in the stupid forest, doing stupid stunts. You don't know what uh, those people can do, July. You know, they say it was a streamer who killed Kennedy. But anyways, fine. I guess that checks out. Don't think I won't beat your ass if you do anything to Joss, though. Wouldn't dream of it, now if you'll excuse us. Bye-bye, Mr. Jacob. See ya, Joss. Oh, they grow up so fast, don't they? I still don't like that guy, though. Hope they don't get too chummy. Hank, you said you knew him. Tell me what you know. Oh, okay. Hey, meet me at the bridge. Alone. I have something to tell you. Okay. I guess I am not tied up, or... I guess? I'm assuming my hands are tied behind my back, or just not at all. We should head... <laughs> we should get back to my place. Hmm. I mean, is, is quenched the same, though, is what I have to figure out. I hope. Mm, it's like I finally, instead of an outlier, I'll, I'll skip ahead to see if there's anything that's... I want to know if it's change at all or just my answer of yes or no is the only change. So I'll skip ahead and I'll let you know if anything's changed in the dialogue. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so this is definitely different at this point. I asked him why he murders and he gets a ring. Oh shoot, it's work related. Please excuse me. Oh no. And that should be all for new viewers. Hit the s- uh, I don't want to read any more from this character. I'm guessing this will lead to a different ending, though, what I wanted. Uh, for new viewers, hit the sub, and for old viewers, stay tuned for a new collab with me and Joss. You might see him in a future stream after this. Remember to bring your wallets, too. Wait. Maybe Jacob is actually going to have to kill James in order to protect me. You might see him in a... Uh, I don't do anything- wait. You might see him in the future stream after this. Remember to bring your wallets too. I don't do anything to the face unless our donation goal is reached. Bye bye. Bloop. Anyway, you're gonna go all crazy mode on me with the camera off? Yeah. You fucking whore. I bet you think you're so smart, right? I bet you think you're so smart for getting out of the basement. You're not. You're interesting, I'll give you that, but you aren't tricky in the slightest. Jacob, can you kill this annoying fuck? So how do you do it anyways, huh? Trade secret. Because I've been trying for months, months, to get as close. Closer, actually. And you can just, what, walk right in and get kidnapped, and now you have them wrapped around your little claw? I just can't fucking believe you. Don't you already have two friends? Don't you already have enough? You. You already have people. I don't have anyone, Joss. Nah, yeah, you have your little, little viewers, you loner. I, I know, ironic, but I'm not a streamer, so it's okay. I just stream sometimes. 
You are not special, not in the way I am to him. He's just going to kill you. He's good at that. He's really good at that, actually, and I've seen it before. At that bridge, in fact, there were so many bodies, and you didn't even notice them. All you'll be is a distraction. That's overstayed. It's welcome. Fuck you. I can't wait until things go back to normal before you fuck things up for me. I understand, by the way. Why you would want more? Who wouldn't want a rich husband, am I right? So you're just doing it for his money. Mm. Who wouldn't want a rich husband, am I right? That's all you poor people ever talk about. But Christ, to throw your friends away... Wait, throw... throw? What do you mean, throw friends away? Just for... for what? For a fucking fling? I mean... Going on a date doesn't mean the friends go away. They're still friends. If it's just for what? For a fucking fling? You fucking... You're stupid. What? You're so fucking stupid. I don't want Jacob. I don't want to be here. It's not my fault. That he... He just what? That he just likes me better? Sorry, you suck. I mean, it wasn't that hard. It really wasn't that hard. I just said what he wanted to hear. I can't be sorry if you're that dumb. Or lonely. That's not my fault either. <laughs> I wish you t knew two friends isn't a lot. I wish you knew that. And I wish you weren't as deranged as you are now. I don't want more relationships. Not with Jacob. Especially not with Jacob. Damn, it's like, it's like the developer made this option for all the people that are, like, getting all the endings and know what most players are doing, which is, like, skipping all the dialogue and trying to get all the best answers for the best ending. Because this really rings a bell. But it's almost worth it if it means making you more mad. Thank you, developer. That pleases me a lot. <laughs> just seeing how angry James is getting. And, like, the, the amount of options we have of just, like, grilling him. I love it. Uh, okay. I think someone like you should die. He thinks you're a freak, you know? He told me so himself. And it's kind of sad, really. Even your fake father doesn't like you. <laughs> I can't imagine how it is for the real one. <laughs> Just kind of... He's dead already. If he hasn't abandoned you already, anyways. It's just like Jacob is going to. <laughs> I'm going to gut you like a fish. And millions will love it. Why? Why? Why, why, why are you so intent on taking him from me? What did I do? What did I do if I know I can... I can... Fix it. Haha. <laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter. You know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's whatever. It's all just goose anyways. New stream idea. You run. Yeah. Then, I fucking kill you. Don't worry about Jacob, by the way. I got that all figured out. I'm sure he won't ask, though. Doubt he cares about you that much. I'm sure he's genuine. I mean, he's easy to play, right? That's what you said. It shouldn't take too much convincing. I'm gonna assume it's just Jake, Jacob's gonna come here and kill him. If Jacob kills him, I will romance with Jacob. Well, here's your head start. Bloop. If James actually does legit kill me, and I don't have a chance to run. What? No! What? What do you mean he just kills me and Jacob doesn't kill him? What do you mean by that? That's horseshit, I was expecting Jake to come and save me. Alright, we're gonna have to go with pleased, but accept his offer, I guess. Nah, alright, well, I'll give me one second. Let's see, as for why I do this, it's because it's the right thing to do, isn't it? I mean, just think about it, Joss. Uh, how much crime goes unpunished? Every day on the news, you hear a new story about some piece of shit doing the new heinous thing of the day. Every day. I mean, you're getting like you're getting doom pilled here, or black pilled. You gotta not do that, Jacob. And it just doesn't stop. Stop watching the news. Even the politicians are in on it. In fact, they're usually the ones orchestrating the whole goddamn thing. Them and the fucking cops. Not until now, that is. I know no one deserves to die, but some people really do deserve to die. It's new dialogue, I guess, though, that's useful for this situation, because normally it didn't go in this path. Yeah, at this point, you're restricted to only one thing to say, but it's led to a different dialogue option. Even though I have all the endings, weirdly. So maybe there's a secret one. I mean, you probably felt that way about me at some point, haven't you? Fuck people, basically. Fuck everyone. Monsters, but especially the cowards who don't do anything, they're just as much to blame. When... when I was younger, my father abused me. And no matter what I did, I was somehow always the one at fault. I was always the problem child. 
As a kid, there's not much you can do. Everyone wants to control you. They all want you to stay small, quiet, and out of trouble. I mean, what could I do? I was just a kid. Nothing I could do short of dying. Well, there was one thing. But I didn't think of that until my junior year. And by then, my father had already died. I'm gonna assume maybe this is like an ending that happens if you replay the game after getting all the endings. Maybe this is a secret final true ending, though. Because this didn't happen before, but I had him only pleased... Pleased or intrigued before coming here. So it's kind of interesting. We're getting a different dialogue tree and learning more about the character after already getting all four endings and all eight main endings. So I'm not sure if it's a prerequisite that once you get here and please them after all endings, or it just happens to be the dialogue path after getting them not quenched. It's quenched gets the last ending we got with the Psycho James, which I really was hoping he'd fucking die. But anyways, it's interesting. I didn't think of that until my junior year, and by then my father had already died. Somewhat happy ending, I guess. My dad died, not by me, I regret that, but he died nonetheless. I guess what I'm saying is, I do it for the people who are forced to stay small. They deserve retribution, if I can give that to them, then it's worth it. Joss, you're a special one, this is fate, I don't always kidnap people, and the few times I do, that's back to this. I like you a lot, gave you a chance, and you've done more with me, proven yourself, this worked out. This worked out really, really well. I'm glad you're here. I wouldn't have it any other way. I would very much enjoy a second date with you. Okay, then back to this. That'd be nice. Hmm. They just... That just... Weird. It just goes with date ends four out of four? Weird, it feels like that would have been a different ending. Like, saying no and saying yes, it didn't lead... It feels like it's almost inconclusive in a way. I mean, maybe not at the same time, because, I mean... It's like a part of me says it's inconclusive because we don't see what happens afterwards. And no, not for any kind of lewd purposes. But... The fact it's like, he either kills us at the bridge, and that's two of the endings out of four. Or he brings us over, and James the Psycho kills us, but Jacob doesn't show up, and he, he just, like, is gone so much hearing me and James bicker and complain while in his house, and he doesn't come to check up on us? Feels a little strange. Um, because there's no way he just went outside and didn't, doesn't hear any of that, or James killing us. Or us running and not going to Jacob to help at that point, I would say that since we've manipulated Jacob enough, it would make more sense that Jacob would fight James. It, it just felt like the most, like the most obvious of conclusions, but it just never happened. And it forced us rather to get killed by James by running, when really at that point, if our character hypothetically was manipulating Jacob, like us as the player, like are actively doing we would go further and have it so Jacob is pitted against James and they kill each other so both of them are dead. Then there's two less killers. Whether Jacob has reasoning for killing or makes sense, whether he's a serial killer or not, doesn't matter. He still killed people, and by that logic, if both of them die, that's fine. But, that ending and this ending, we only know that either we say, no, you're insane and die, or, hey, yeah, let's meet again. And it's a happy ending that we don't get to see kind of thing. I don't know. I'll double check to see if there's any secret endings, though. Give me one sec. Well, I'll assume there is no final or secret ending. We just got to get more information out of Jacob that, of course, the, it almost like sort, sort of predictable, but eh, we were able to get the information out of Jacob that he was an abused child from a, an abusive father, and it's one of the reasons why he's the way he is. Um, I mean, it's, it's kind of a... It's a bit of a cliche, but I mean, it still it makes sense in terms of character development of why Jacob is the way they are. Um, otherwise, I still feel like there should have been like something more conclusive, nonetheless. Like, depending on if you're a person that says no, Jacob should die, or if you agree with Jacob, it, it feels like it's going to be one of those situations where there's like it's like when you watch the anime Death Note. There's going to be people who side with Kira, who says, "Oh, it doesn't matter if he kills criminals; that's fine." They side with Kira. And then there's going to be people in the world who also side with L in taking down criminals regardless. There's always those two types of human beings. The ones that side with Kira and the ones that don't. 
it's like it's yes it's fictional but the point still remains the the duality of what people expect out of criminals or how to deal with crime or bad people versus good people there's always different interpretations based on just media fiction yada yada so depending on that it may it might just be conc inconclusive to a bunch of people, you know, like, oh, I'd be fine if Jacob, like, hypothetically, there'll be people that say they'd be fine dating Jacob. If he turns a new leaf and stops killing, they'd be fine with it. But then there'll be people that are, like, point out the obvious of, there's still a killer. There is a literal serial killer. How many, how many people have they killed where he claims that he does research on all of them and all of them deserve it? It's murder, still murder. They'll, you'll always have those two people who try to defend it, or try to say, "But what about?" And then there'll be people that just say, "Nope, they're a serial killer. No, no sympathy, zero sympathy." Like maybe if they went with psychiatric care, but they'd still be behind bars for the rest of their lives for killing so many people. I don't know, it depends. I'm not going to get into the politics or the, the nitty-gritty of that, but nonetheless, I don't think there's a secret ending. We got all of them, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. It was entertaining, and a lot of content, especially for a free game, and if you want to play it yourself, link in description down below, of course, as always. But if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, become a full subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, until the next time.